Hi guys, it's Yara Wins. Welcome to the first player review on the channel. Today we'll be looking at the second in form, striker Giannini. So I got this guy from Foot Champions Rewards. I wasn't too excited about it, but it turns out this could be the next best super sub. Six foot three, four star, four star. It's a great start, isn't it? But in terms of his in-game stats, we'll see in a minute. He's got fantastic sprint speed, finishing, positioning, shot power, dribbling, composure, ball control, strength, stamina. He really does have all the attributes you need from a great striker in this game, especially in those late stages where you need a goal. And you're going to see in the clips all his positive sides, his negative sides as well. But just starting with that, that's the kind of thing he's going to do for you. Get him on the edge of the box, unleash those finesse shots. He's got the power to beat most goalkeepers. Easily beats Courtois there. As we know, he's one of the most overpowered goalkeepers in the game. Very difficult to beat because of his height. But with the shot power that Giannini possesses, fantastic. Again, his dribbling is good. He can execute those drag backs very easily. He can find space. As you can see here, he's a bit slow getting off the mark, but he gets there eventually. But that's the first con, his balance. He does tend to fall over a lot and possibly his aggression, but he does want a free kick here. So if you're someone that can take free kicks, it could be a pro for you because he is going to sort of fall over a lot, sort of like an Ibrahimovic type. But in that case, I actually take the chance, I score from that. So you could say he can assist that way. But really what you want to, what you want to do with him, get him in the box, in and around the box, unleash those shots. In that instance, I mistimed it, so that's more my fault, but he will get in those positions. As you can see here, drag back, a couple of touches, what a finish. Top corner, in off the bar, unstoppable shot. Showcases his shot power a lot there, and his finishing of course. His curve is on the low side, but from what I've sort of read, curve does not actually change anything to do with finesse shots. It's all to do with passing, so in terms of his finesses, he will bang them in no problem. Another positive of him is his physicality. Of course, being six foot three as a striker, with pace, he's always going to be dangerous. And if you can find him from corners, he will finish. He's got good jumping with that height as well, with that strength, with that power, decent hand accuracy. He will finish off those chances no problem. He is definitely a danger man. This instance really does show. All of, the, all of the positives that he has. Look at that, he intercepts a loose ball from Varane and he just goes on a run, uses his strength there, holds off the left back. He's a bit stiff, but he loses the ball, but it still comes to Stoichkov in the end, who finishes it off. And yeah, he made that goal really from his persistence. In this case, he could have won it actually straight away, but his positioning was a bit off there, could have got ahead of the, the attacker. But he's persistent, he keeps going, he keeps getting in those positions and as you can see there, wonderful composure, great finish, showcases his shot power to bang it into the bottom corner, near post, Courtois has no chance. And that's the kind of thing that you're going to want to do with him. Try and get him in behind, he'll constantly keep making that run because of his great stamina. And as we can see here, he gets through again. He shrugs off Van Dijk, who's obviously one of the strongest players in the game, but there he falls over. So, sort of, it's a double-edged sword. His strength and his balance sort of negate each other sometimes. But again here, he's always going to keep making that run in. Wonderful finish, and he gets a rage quit here. So, yeah. <laughs> I think the opponent was a bit mad there. But it's alright, that, that is what he's going to sort of bring. He is really going to cause those rages because he is a really dangerous, dangerous player. So in terms of his pros, obviously, the top speed. He can be a bit slow getting off the mark, but once he hits that top speed, you're not going to catch him. Shot power and finishing, as you can see. Get him in those positions, get those shots away, he will finish them. Stamina, he will keep going all match long, especially as a super sub, you'll have no worries. The physicality is high. He's going to be dangerous from, from corners. He's going to have that strength to hold off even the stronger centre-backs. And he's very cheap. 
four star combo of course is always going to be helpful in terms of the cons of course balance he can fall over a lot his league and nation is obviously hard to link but in terms of that the only sort of main other con could be his lack of sort of passing range really he'll do those sort of basic short passes but anything other than that won't be very accurate and uh, yeah aside from that maybe the work rates medium low aren't the greatest but didn't really cause me any trouble so in general for the price he's very good value and I would give him an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10 you can definitely fit into most teams as a super sub or if you have icons you can even start him off on full chem and he will do a great job for you so yeah hopefully the review helped you out if it did please leave a like subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one guys. Thank you. Peace.